welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video we've got a bit of a different one today i am talking all things beauty my routine in general i've been wanting to film some kind of video like this for a long time now because it's probably one of my most asked questions is my go-to makeup products and my hair care products so this video is going to be an accumulation of my full kind of beauty regime Apart from skincare, because I recently did talk about that in a vlog, so it's going to be more focused around my health fitness journey, my hair care, my nails, what I've been doing recently, my little DIY at home gel manicure, and my makeup. So if you are excited to see my beauty regime, then make sure you grab yourself a nice cosy drink, sit back, relax, and I hope you guys enjoy. So first things first, let's talk health, because this is a journey that I've been starting and really honestly enjoying. It's been a bit of a obsession of mine with just learning more about my body, what I input into my body, what kind of exercise and getting my body to move, how that benefits my whole mind as well as body. I've been watching Wim Hof, He's just changed my outlook on life. I have a sponsor for today's video, Fit Track. They have a smart scale that I've been using to help monitor my whole progress, my journey, and really understand my body, not just purely scales to determine the weight of my body, but so many other factors. In fact, 17 different factors that it measures. It's amazing. So this is the Adara Smart Scale that I have been using. I do have a discount code as well, which gets you 20% off if you use the code Freya. And I will leave a link to it in the description box so you can check it out. So the main reason why I want to start this health journey is just purely to feel better about myself. I feel like I've gained a few extra lockdown pounds that I've wanted to shift, but it's not just purely about the weight for me. It's about the strength. I wanted to feel stronger and just feel healthier. But my main issue was really not knowing where to start because I am no expert. I don't understand my body. When people talk about macros, body fat percentage, I just, it goes over my head. And so the solution for me was when I started using this scale, which connects via Bluetooth and the free app, that's where I really started to understand and appreciate not just purely the weight of your body, but the 17 different metrics that you can monitor, especially body fat percentage. I always knew that was going to be higher for me and definitely something I need to work on. Same with my BMI. These um, metal pads that you kind of step on barefoot. It safely scans your body, gathers all the information to show you on your phone exactly what all your different metrics are, the results, and maybe the areas that you should maybe focus on, which obviously regular scales wouldn't monitor. They wouldn't show you all of these different metrics. From targeted improvements from using the scale, you can feel a lot better about yourself. And then with the connection by the app, you can get daily, weekly, monthly reports, which is amazing to be able to track your progress. This is so accurate that they have partners with partnered with the NHS. You can send the results direct to your doctor, something that I have to do anyway, because um, being on the contraceptive pill, they quite often have to have your like weight and monitor your blood pressure. That also I have to do at home, because for me, I'm an anxious person. When I go into the doctors, for some reason it spikes. So I have to send the results to my doctor from my home. That's something that you could maybe factor in and think about yourself as well. So I really, really have been enjoying using the FitTrack Smart Scale. I will leave a link to it in the description box and make sure to take advantage of that discount code Freya for 20% off if you want to try it out yourself today. So let me take my coffee before I start running through my hair, nails and makeup with you guys. Now, if you want to get pen and paper maybe to jot down some of my favourite things that I use or I will leave links to everything in the description box below that I do use so that if you want to shop anything that you see, feel free to do so. I'm going to start with hair. So naturally I'm going to start with sharing with you the process of me washing my hair. So first things first, when I get in the shower I use my first shampoo which is currently the Aesop one which I've been using and it smells amazing. So this is kind of like an initial cleanse of the scalp. I really like to just use my um, scalp exfoliator from Tangle Teaser just to really get in there 
any product build up or anything this breaks down and it just kind of exfoliates your scalp before I go in with a second shampoo um, once I have done my first shampoo the second shampoo that I always go in with is a purple shampoo this one is the provoke it's so affordable it does the job and I use purple shampoo every time I wash my hair but I only wash my hair probably twice a week on average and then I'll always condition as well. The GHD Helios hair dryer is the one that I use along with the GHD curve tool for curling my hair. I also always use Tangle Teaser products to brush through my hair so that I don't get any kind of snagging or breakage. So once my curlers are heated, which literally takes seconds, I divide my section up into fairly thick sections really. I mean, I could do smaller sections and it be tighter curls, but I quite like the end result of more of a loose wave. So I would say sort of two to three inches thick segments I take and then curl away from my face hold the curl for about 10 seconds with the heat and then once I remove the heat I just kind of hold the curl up in place for again about 10 seconds just whilst it cools off a little bit just so that it kind of sets um, rather than just drops out straight away so that's the process that I follow throughout the entirety of my hair again always curling away from my face so I'm going to leave you now with a bit of a time lapse to show you this process so that I don't skip any steps you can see exactly what I do just in a slightly sped up version Then with the top section, once I found my parting, I again just follow the same process of curling away from my face and sometimes I don't hold the curls quite as tight to my head or either just don't hold the heat on it for as long as I do with the rest of my hair just so that it's not too curly at the root um, and it's again more of that kind of natural wave which once brushed out at the end. Um, is very much like that anyway so in terms of products for styling with I always go in with some kind of oil or hair serum this one that I'm using is from function of beauty Moroccan oil is another favorite of mine so once I've warmed up in my hands I run it through the ends of my hair I don't go too close to the root because I don't want my hair to be too greasy with this oil and I spritz with some hairspray again this one is red Kemba, just whatever one I'm currently using then I always go in with a step of dry shampoo. I find it just helps to give a little bit of volume. I only put a tiny amount in initially because obviously as the days go on I then put in more dry shampoo for as and when my hair needs it. This is like a holy grail product of mine. I could not be without dry shampoo. And there we have it. That is the end result of kind of like a loose wave look that I use. Um, most, well in fact every time I style my hair really and yeah this lasts like I said for two to three days before I need to re-wash it. So that is my full hair care routine and if you have any other questions about anything that I do whether it be salon visits or um, other products that you may have heard me talk about in the past do pop me comments down below and I'll be more than happy to answer them. Now we're gonna move on to nails. Now nails is a journey that I have recently kind of been toying with, playing with. I, for a long, long time, just never went to the salon and got my nails done just because I did not like the feeling. So I decided to invest and start doing a DIY 
at home gel manicure. So first things first, when it comes to doing your nails, you're definitely gonna want to find a couple of hours spare one evening, maybe even allow sort of three hours, find a good series or something that you wanna watch on TV to keep you company because it does take time when you're doing your own gel nails, especially as you have to do one hand at a time unlike in a salon, so anyway. This is gonna be like a rundown of everything that I use. So to give you an overview of what my nails look like before, these are quite outgrown. I did cut myself the other day, which is really annoying. Started to lift slightly, but this is what my nails have been like after two to three weeks. This is my natural nails, just with gel polish. You can see they've kind of grown out a little bit too square for my liking, so I'm gonna round them and shape them as well. And um, these are all the tools that I use. So first and foremost, some kind of old towel or tea towel and a couple of sheets of kitchen roll just for any spillages or keeping things nice and dry. Then for the removal process, you need some nail files, some tools such as a scraper like so, which allows you to just scrape off the gel once soaked in the acetone and then a cuticle kind of cutter as well. So the acetone you use to um, pop in here and soak your nails for a bit and then I also go in with a lint wipe and a nail prep and polish wipe before applying any gel. I also use this cuticle remover to soften the cuticles before um, kind of cutting them back or scraping them back if needs be. And then in terms of the actual polish itself, I've got an LED lamp from CND, a base coat and top coat, both are OPI and then my gel colour for today is going to be tiramisu for two from OPI and then I also go in after the manicure with a hydrating cuticle oil as well. The TV programme for me today is going to be Married at First Sight Australia. I forgot to actually film this clip of me doing this but I basically just roughed up the surface of my nails using a abrasive file without going as close as the nails, then popping some acetone into this pot, leaving it to soak for around about the 10 minutes. Impatient me, always brings them out a little sooner just to see how they're getting on. And then I pop them back into the acetone after I've scraped off the bit that I have just um, been able to at this stage, if you see what I mean. So I like to just kind of dip it back in a second, sometimes even third time. You don't want to be too harsh on your nails at this stage, Just really just allow it to soak and the longer the better. Then after filing to shape and buffing the surface just to allow the polish to stick so that it's not completely smooth buffed and polished surface it's actually a little bit abrasive i then go in with a cuticle softener and use the tool that i used earlier to scrape off the um, gel polish to just kind of push back the cuticles then i take the miley nail prep and polish wipe with a lint piece of paper to wipe over the nails before going in with the base coat from opi i do just a nice thin coat then cure for 30 seconds then I go in with two to three coats of the colour, depending on how sheer it is, followed by a top coat each time, curing the nails for 30 seconds. Then end off with some cuticle oil to just hydrate and nourish the cuticles and nails because it can get quite dry from having soaked in all that acetone earlier. So there we have it. That is the end result using Tiramisu for two by OPI and this lasts two to three weeks. So there we have my nail journey. I'm really enjoying the Tiramisu for two, which I currently have on my nails today. And it's just a really nice neutral nude. I remember a color that I used to use back in the day when I had acrylic. So this is talking a long time ago now, when I used to live in Manchester city center, they used a color called Field Fox. I think it was by CND. So I might invest into that color as well. Cause I do remember loving that one. Two. But yeah, all of the nudes, any nude recommendations for gel polish, do fire them over and let me know. But now let us move on to my kind of everyday makeup. Very rarely will I switch this up, bar maybe a little darker eyeshadow, a little heavier on the eyes, or maybe using a foundation as opposed to like a BB cream. But the everyday process pretty much stays the same. So a recent discovery, the Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury is a product that now is a must within my routine. I kind of use it as a bit of a primer and on no makeup days, I sometimes use it above my moisturizer just to 
kind of blur out my skin that a little bit as you can tell it just blends out seamlessly so easy to use so if you're someone that maybe lacks confidence going completely bare faced, this is a really nice natural alternative. However, for a day that I am doing a full face of makeup, I do go in with a second layer then with BB cream. So I don't often use foundation. I do have a Lancome one that I enjoy. Um, but above all, this BB cream from Clarins, I have 00 Fair shade. I have used 01 in the past as well. I think they've only got three or four shades. Um, so they're quite versatile. Again, they blend out really seamlessly and kind of adapt to your skin tone, but they just give a really nice coverage for a BB cream. So yeah, I would say it's more like a light foundation to be honest with you. So I blend all of that in and then I go in with a concealer. I use the Lasting Perfection Concealer in shade two porcelain. Again, I have shades three and four, it all just depends on how much tan I have on, if I've caught any sun. And I do tend to use this more as a cream kind of highlight. I go in with areas where I'm wanting to brighten as well as conceal. In fact, more so than conceal, to be honest with you. If I need to conceal like a spot or something, I'll probably go in with a darker shade of concealer. Um, so this, again, blends out really creamy and flawlessly and great value for money, that one. Then I use my Chanel Soleil Bronzer with the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. And I kind of do this to contour a little bit heavier on the cheekbones, but then any excess products left over, I just tend to blend in on like my high points of my face so that it just gives more of a bronzed finish. And then I top it with Hoola Bronzer. It kind of acts as a bit of a powder as well, um, just to set it in place. Then I go in with the NARS Orgasm Blush and the Bare Minerals Blooming Blush Brush just to um, apply this to kind of like the apples of my cheeks. And then again, another hero product for me are the iconic illuminating drops in shade original. And again, I pop these on the high points of my face, my cupid's bone, my brow bone, my nose, as well as my cheekbones. And I just blend it out with, I think this is actually an eye brush, but I just find it blends out really nicely with that. Then I use the Laura Mercier powder in translucent to just kind of set underneath the contour to define that line and then also under my eyes to avoid any creasing. And then I only very lightly dust it across my T-zone because I do like a more dewy finish. And then currently I am loving the Hourglass Warm Brunette Brow Pencil, which is super, super fine. I'm much more um, of a fan of a fine pencil for a brow brush as opposed to a thicker one. So Hourglass do do a thicker one, but this is the micro one. It's really, really easy to work with and perfect for drawing on brush strokes if you have more sparse brows like I do. And then I use the Refi Black Brow, if I can get my words out, Refi. I don't actually know what they call this, just a brow gel or something, brow setter. It's amazing, it's like glue. And then I use the Instant Eye Palette in Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury and use the kind of neutral shades. There's a really kind of corally colored one that is really pretty. And then the shimmery one, I go on the brow bone and on the inner corner of the eye. Lancome Hypnose Mascara for me is one that I have used for years and years. I do love Benefit for their mascaras, uh, but this is just a good classic that if anyone asks for a new mascara recommendation, quite often I just recommend it, Lancome Hypnose, just because it's a good staple, very accessible to get in shops, and yeah, I love it. So then I line my lips with the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude Lip Liner. I also love the number seven lip liner in Nude as well. I think I probably prefer the number seven one, um, but I just had this one to hand on this day. And then I usually use any kind of a lip balm. This one's a Jo Malone one, but the Carmex one I use a lot as well. And then the Morphe Continuing Mist, honestly, feels incredible. And this is my finished makeup. like I'm gonna have to introduce antihistamine soon because hay fever is getting to me a little bit. I don't tend to suffer with it that badly, but I do just get a little dry eyes, especially wearing contact lenses and just a little of the sniffles, shall we say. Um, 
but yeah anyway that pretty much sums up my regular beauty regime beauty routine that i hope you guys have found useful it will be very handy for me to be able to just link this video to anyone that asks in future about my everyday makeup hair care and that kind of stuff but if you have any other questions about my health journey that i'm currently going on and my fitness any questions about the um, dara smart scale from fit track by all means do let me know thank you to them for working with me and thanks to them for introducing me to it because it's honestly a product that i now really am getting into the routine of measuring every single day monitoring my progress and then just finding it so interesting i'll leave a link to it below there is the discount code if you do want to try it of 20 percent if you use the code freya do let me know your progress and how you get on with it if you try it out yourself and of course any other questions about anything that i have mentioned within this video for my hair my skin my makeup my nails anything at all feel uh, free to either message me on instagram or pop a comment down in the comment section below i hope you guys have enjoyed today's video i hope you enjoy a lovely rest of your day and i hope to see you again next time bye guys